Welcome back for another video. So we're gonna do an album collection video and this one we're gonna cover my Corn Self Title album collection. The record is a recent uh, acquisition. Got it for discount for a discount off a uh, eBay seller here in the past couple uh, about four days. So um, but I'm gonna talk about the CD, the very first CD that I had of this album. I don't have anymore. It's just a uh, nicked up original, or maybe an original, uh, just the CD of the Corn album from a friend. He just he had repurchased the album probably in I don't know 2003. But here's the back, all the tracks, and I'll talk about those when I go to the record because that's just you know a bigger. Uh, format, and I'll open it up, and this is the first time I'll be seeing the innards of the record. This actually, this foot has the, I think it has lyrics, and it folds out into a poster. My friend actually put that, that up in his room many, many years ago. This image here is, uh, you can see it on the, it is a poster as well. My friend had that poster as well, I think, but you can also see it in the, uh, Who The Now VHS tape, or the Who The Now uh, program on Corn's Deuce DVD or even VHS. It was also released on VHS. But uh, I have the DVD. Actually, I actually have two copies of it. Okay, so as we know, MOV Music on Vinyl, I believe this is made over in Germany. If I'm not mistaken, their plant is in Germany. And all their stuff is digital. Uh, maybe except for a few things. But. Uh, here you get the track listing, same as the CD. There's no extra tracks, unfortunately. And with each anniversary of these albums, you know, 20th anniversary and so forth, 30th anniversary and whatnot, there's no special editions coming out, which is, I find, odd. They could actually, you know, take all the uh, tracks they put on soundtracks and there's uh, singles, the CD singles and whatnot, and uh, the uh, remix CDs as a come out for all these albums over the years and put them on one CD or one record or something like that, you know, and package that in with, you know, with the album as like a deluxe edition or anniversary deluxe edition on CD, vinyl, as a download on streaming services, but they don't do it. Um, <coughs> so yeah, this is the one band that doesn't really do all that kind of stuff, which is, I find very interesting. Um, I guess they figure, well... This stuff is out there, you know, in CD single form, which I, some of those I do own. Uh, actually, I own singles for all their albums except up up to Issues, I believe. Yeah, and then the rest I don't have the uh, extra tracks, at least, at least in physical form. But anyways, getting back to this, you have the first song, Blind. There was a video made for that, uh, Ball Tongue, Need To clown there's also a video for that it is edited though uh unfortunately uh divine f i can't say that word uh on youtube shoots and ladders uh i believe there yeah there's a video for that as well uh predictable fake lies helmet in the bush and the very powerful daddy song uh which there's a sequel to that on issues and i'll show that here uh soon Produced by Ross Robinson. Uh, originally came out in 1994. And this is the 2014 Sonic Music Entertainment Manufacturing Distributed by Music on Vinyl uh, Edition. So yeah, a Music on Vinyl Edition. We'll open it up. These open from the back, so they have kind of like a Japanese-style uh, protective sleeve. Sorry, I'm focused on this oh man this thing oh huh. I'm fully open sorry guys that's late and this is not a gatefold I think it's two records yeah it is and these come in black polyline sleeves I didn't know that it's in a thin jacket so over time it will uh, unfortunately it will show signs of oh cool and they reproduce the uh, poster 
and the, these images are just blown up from the CD so look at there's no yeah this falls out into a huge like a huge poster if it does let's see no not quite like the other one it is a trifold um, and there's the image of the doll again but covered up with credits so you just get a bigger image of the uh, members and the track listing don't get lyrics but cool thing is you get the same image that's on the CD on the label of each record I'm gonna take one out and I'm glad these are polylined now this means I don't have to replace these and this is from a digital source as I'm sure the uh, album does have some digital uh, elements to it. I'm sure it was a portrait analog as well. Oops. So yeah, two records. And there's the side B, or sides, yeah, side B. So glad to have this finally in the collection. I, it was either getting this, which I didn't know existed until a couple days ago, or the... Uh, Or, um, excuse me, the, uh, original, which is probably far expensive by now, very expensive by now, I can't imagine. Uh, oops. Oh, no. This glue got stuck on here. Luckily, it doesn't rip anything. And it just did. Great. <laughs> Didn't think that would happen. Jeez. Oh, that's fine. This isn't perfect anyways, it does have some creasing, slight creasing here. That's why I got it for a good deal. So, that's fine. Nothing is perfect in this world. So I'll put that back in. Um, I'm probably not going to keep this, this style of... Uh, sleeve because of that it's hard to put these back in in to those types of damn sleeves <clears throat> but i will cut the hype sticker off but yeah this is a very heavy album very as you can see you know parental advisor there's a lot of foul language in here um just john talking about his childhood things that he went through some pretty heavy stuff uh back to some very heavy riffs you know and uh kind of rap like Beats, uh, bass beats, notes from Fildy, and very funk, some funky beats as well, bass uh, parts. But yeah, this album I listened to, you know, many, many times over the years. Not lately, this one I got like in 2008, the CD uh, as a replacement to the other CD that I owned. I got this at my local mall, which is actually still open, and uh, but what I've noticed, uh, this CD over the uh the original it is much louder so you'll probably have to turn your volume down a little bit more unless you just like loud um <coughs> so yeah um yeah again I, on the anniversary types you know deluxe edition i'm surprised corn has not done this they have enough tracks to do this with all their albums pretty much you know, there's unreleased versions or, or outtakes or songs that just didn't couldn't fit onto the album due to time constraints or it just didn't fit in with the other songs on the album. So yeah, there's Korn's very first album, originally released in 1994. Uh, that's my collection. I don't see myself buying more unless, you know, unless they come out with a anniversary edition, which this year they could because it is 2024. Uh... So it has been 30 years. Uh, has been quite some time. Uh, since the uh, original release. So really be cool to see that. Uh, you know with like. Unseen photos. Of the band possibly. As well. You know included. In a vinyl edition. Or a CD edition. That would be great. You know, in a, in a uh, trifold digipack edition. Anything, you know. 
Um, but yeah, very dark album. If you're, this album got me through a lot, a lot of, you know, stuff we go through, uh, kids go through as teenagers and breakups. So yeah, great, great album. Very, very, uh, you can find it, you know, at a lot of different, at your local record shop or CD shop. Um, the big box stores don't really carry it that I know of. I'm sure they just have the latest and greatest stuff or just stuff that's really, really popular right now. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong, you know. Um, I remember going into Target a few years ago and seeing Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon thinking, hey, that's old music. Why would they have this now? But it is so popular, they still, they still sell it. But that, that just goes to tell you that, uh, they're not just... These stores are not just selling stuff that is popular, the new music that's popular on the radio. So, in closing, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, again, I don't have plans to buy any more copies of this album unless they come out with a deluxe edition. So, yeah, if you like my content, check out my playlist. Check out my messages I post on the community page of this channel. I do little updates on there from time to time. Let you guys know some stuff. Uh... As it's happening or when it's going to happen. <clears throat> so yeah, that's all for now. So thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Have a great day.